Police have launched a new cold case website in the hopes it will bring new leads to hundreds of homicides that have no major leads. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tracy Cornett. I'm Lydia Fielder. Our Dryden Quigley sits down with the family of one of those cold cases, Ashanti Posey, and shares how this has given them hope that her case will be solved. Amber Posey knows firsthand what it's like to see a case turn cold. It's definitely a void that we feel every day. It's her daughter, 17-year-old Ashanti, who was killed on April 9th, 2020. She was driving with her friend when someone shot into the car, hitting Ashanti seven times. In the past four years, police have not named any suspects or made any arrests. It's disheartening not to have justice at this time, but it's not anything that I ever lose hope on because I know there's somebody out there that knows something. They just need that extra push to come forward. Murders like Ashanti's are why Metro Police decided to launch a cold case website. It took five years to build and has cases dating back to the 1960s. The hope is that more people will come forward with leads. When the case turns cold, it can be extremely difficult to solve. Cold case detective Matthew Filter says the goal is to get the word out to people who might know something. People get a little bit more comfortable coming forward with information that they maybe had back then, but they were too scared to tell us about for one reason or another. On the website, you can see details about each case, add photos of victims, and send in anonymous tips. Just one tip can change a case. I believe this website will help, you know, bring the proper traffic to those type of cases and get more information for the families like myself. This is the first website of its kind in Nashville that puts all cases in one centralized location. For WSMV4, I'm Dryden Quigley.